the moment this meeting is on record and so i want to welcome everyone joining us from every african country coming from liberia coming from sierra leone from nigeria and wherever you are joining us from good evening good afternoon good morning and also good day welcome once again to this first edition of our Google meeting uh, in the year 2023. Uh, I hope that all of us uh, marched or came into the new year successfully with our family members. We are so happy and glad to be counted among those who will still be in the land of the living. And so uh, today, I am not going to be too long. Uh, we are just going to pass some instructions and also be able to uh, speed up the process. Uh, previously, it was Christmas and New Year period. And so a lot of people uh, were not uh, migrating. Why? Because they were busy with their festivities and also other uh, end of the year activities and so that was actually another reason why uh, the migration process was a little bit slowed down and so uh, this moment like I promised us the last time we are going to swing into action and so uh, beginning from all the West African countries, we will start seriously. Uh, we want to cover West Africa before moving into other regions. And so uh, currently, beginning from Nigeria, I am going to give us a roadmap on how the entire activity of this migration process will suffice in this year, 2023. And also for Liberia, uh, activities will also begin. And um, also in uh, Sierra Leone, and also talking about uh, Gabon and Burkina Faso, we are going to solemnly uh, swing into action. All those countries who were not properly informed, now the information has reached so many regions. And so, uh, uh, we have used the Christmas festivity and the New Year period in order to uh, call upon most of the leaders in our various countries to begin to uh, create some avenues wherein our users can begin to get the detailed information on uh, the migration process. And so I will be mentioning uh, a few locations and also a few individuals uh, who are going to be uh, in charge of this migration process because we were able to train some individuals and uh, they are able to help others in the migration process. And so this evening, uh, like I stated, we are beginning from uh this week will be for abuja and kaduna state uh, as a matter of fact uh the ambassador has gone round uh uh in some parts of kaduna state and also we will need to cover niger state and uh, we need to cover abuja and uh, also before proceeding to other regions other parts of nigeria uh, we have uh, people beginning to migrate from Enugu state and uh, we also have people who are coming in with their migrations uh, from Nasarawa state, from Plateau state and also uh, other regions right now are beginning to get the information and so we are going to go around to speed up the entire process and so uh, this week we want to be able to get a numerous uh, figures or numbers before the end of this month. Yes, uh, it was just a few handful of individuals that have actually done their migration as for last year. And so majority uh, that are yet 
to migrate were not aware. And some of them, I think we have about 40 to 45% of our users, uh, I discovered in Nigeria, they are not part of any of our social media platforms. And so some of them are analog. Uh, and so they are not part of any of this social media community where they can get information and regular updates. And so we are, go we are going to uh, do a lot by reaching out to them so that we, in this January, we want to start trading. Yes. And so this is the only thing right now that is holding us. And so that is the major reason why we are calling for these meetings regularly so that we can checkmate the entire progress. We are progressing simultaneously, but we need to move faster. There are a few individuals who have actually uh, done very well and also have migrated a handful of people. Uh, but the migration from Nigeria is only coming from few regions. Other regions are not active. And so if all of us can be active, I keep saying this and I will say it again, that once we all can become very active all over Nigeria alone, we will get the 55,000 users in one week. As a matter of in seven days, we can get the 55,000. I'm not talking about the entire Africa. And so even in uh, Sierra Leone, I think the information has only entered uh, Waterloo in Freetown, Bo City, Kenema, and other regions, other parts of Sierra Leone, they are not aware. And so uh, we are able to interface with most of the coordinators out of Sierra Leone. Uh, and so this week, uh, the holiday is over this weekend. And so beginning from Monday, we want to see more people coming into the exchange beyond expectation. We want to swing into action so that before the end of this month, let the trading begins so that those of us who uh, came in uh, and also began the move in terms of migration, they should begin to trade as well while other people who are waiting let them watch and see what is unfolding uh in the exchange and so that is what we basically want to achieve and so currently right now uh the director for administration he is not yet in the house uh, and so for those of us who are coming in from liberia uh back in liberia you are we are using uh boulevard junction uh, around uh, God's elect auditorium where we, we are going to have our center there. That will be our center uh, for those who wants to migrate because a, a, few, uh, uh, a few people contacted me yesterday uh, that they want to do their migration. And so we already have our usual center wherein we uh, uh, conduct activities and also uh, uh, the entire process. And so for those of us who want to do their migration from Liberia, especially if you are based in Monrovia, contact the director for administration or contact uh, Mr. Sumo C. Molba, who is the West African training coordinator. I don't know if he's in the house tonight or better still contact uh, 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 Madam Atilia Davis in order to be a part of the entire process. And so they will give you uh, uh, a guidelines as to this is what you will need to do in order to successfully migrate. And also talking about Liberia, we have other regions like uh, the counties are now calling on uh, uh, some of our representatives to begin to go in their various regions to practicalize the migration process. If you have been in any of our meetings, I don't think the migration process is a difficult one. As a matter of fact, there are people who actually watched that video tutorial once and they begin to migrate. Uh, and so we are encouraging those who are still waiting because a time is coming 
when you want to make any transaction, other people will be busy doing their transactions. And so let us begin to follow the process, follow the procedures, and begin to practicalize what we are learning on a daily basis. And so we are not going to continue to be analog. That is why we have our platform here wherein we can all come together and share uh, information and also have updates so that you as an individual can begin to learn how to do these things on your own by yourself. And so uh, uh, we have individuals from Yola, for instance, let me just give an example of Adamawa State. Uh, uh, people coming out uh, from uh, our daddy, Reverend Dr. Jaffet Tomwaso. We have never been to Adamawa State to teach anyone how to do the migration process. Most of them are following the tutorial guidelines and migration is coming from Adamawa State and Kaduna State more than any other region. Uh, we have uh, people from uh, the Southern Kaduna region. Uh, I think um, one of them is in here. Hosea is also one of the, the leading uh, migration uh, uh, leader who is helping a lot of people in Southern Kaduna region for the migration process. These people were not being tutored physically. They followed the... The, the tutorials and they were able to successfully migrate. And so let us begin to practicalize everything we are following. Uh, uh, just follow the instruction or guidelines provided on the tutorial and you will be able to migrate successfully. And so uh, uh, I'm calling on all my coordinators out of Liberia. You, uh, I, I receive a request from uh, Reverend Samson Che out of Sino and also Riverses uh, and Maryland that um, they want to begin to go into their respective regions. Yes, that is a good one. Let us wake up so that we can meet up. If only two countries can wake up to this migration process we can come alive on the exchange in the next one week. Yes, in the next one week. Because we are behind. Uh, when we follow this, when, when you go through the statistics of the incredible exchange and also looking at the numbers that we have migrated so far, we have not yet migrated up to 3,000 people in, in Africa, not only in Nigeria, in Africa. I think before we cross over into the new year, we have uh, barely close to 2,000 or right now we should be around 2,000 or 2,000 plus uh, human beings that have migrated already. Even though we have done very much, very well, and uh, Liberia and Nigeria, uh, as a matter of fact, Nigeria is now leading Liberia because uh, we were hoping that Liberia is going to come in with so much enthusiasm, but I strongly believe that after this uh, holiday season, a lot of things are going to spark up. And so uh, we will come up with the statistics. Basically today is to give us uh, uh, the roadmap regions on each of our various uh, uh, countries in West Africa. Uh, we have been able to map out three different uh, uh, regions and also three different countries that we are going to swing into actions. Uh, other countries we are still mapping out. And so for Liberia, like I mentioned, uh, we, you, those who are in Monrovia, they can contact the director for administration uh, in order to guide you and also you can meet them also at the migration center, wherein you are going to uh, learn and also get to migrate yourself uh, uh, into the exchange. And so that will begin officially by Monday. And so all those in Liberia, uh, contact Mr. Sumosi Mulba or contact uh, uh, Madam Atelia Davis or uh, Dr. Richard Telewayan Jr 
who will help you in the process or you can contact dr joy uh, any of the officials uh, via whatsapp you can reach out to them so they can help you through in if you are if you are around monrovia and environs if you are around grand Bassa county and also river says uh you will contact reverend achi k george in order for you to be able to get through the migration process and also uh, people from sino grand crew and maryland you can contact um reverend samson chie who is going to assist you uh, tremendously in the migration process. So I'm, I'm beginning to give us the names of the leaders that you can contact. And we are also going to, God willing, post the detailed information of all of these uh, various uh, centers on our uh, social media handles so that those of us, whichever region you are coming from, you can be able to locate someone in order to be able to scale through this migration process. And so we want to devise various means to be able to fast track this particular migration process. And so for Nigeria, we are beginning in Abuja. Uh, come Sunday, we are going to meet with all the humanitarians in Abuja. And so if you are around Abuja and you are whether either you are uh, an independent or joint humanitarian in abuja that is the federal capital territory you we are having a meeting uh by by 4 30 pm uh yes and so you can contact mr nehemiah who is the uh coordinator for f uh, for the fct to give you the detailed information whether you are a joint humanitarian or you are an independent humanitarian, we will be having uh, a, a meeting. Uh, and so uh, talking about the venue, we were looking at meeting uh, in the central area wherein everyone can be able to come, but we can hold the respective meetings in different uh, regions. And so ensure to contact Mr. Nehemiah so that we can all come together and strategize very fast in order to have our people migrated and also for the southern kaduna people we will be in southern kaduna become tuesday or wednesday we will contact the leadership in uh, southern kaduna uh, and so uh tomorrow we will be in niger state yes and so tomorrow all the people around uh, uh mina and also environs we will be in niger state by tomorrow uh so that we can be able to interface with all our users and so from uh kaduna state we might proceed to uh plateau state and then we will return and finish the tour in nasarawa state before we proceed to uh, yola and other regions uh, uh, and for the people in uh, the Southeast, uh, Mr. Paul, uh, I just uh, discovered that uh, the migration from the Southeast began this week. And so we will give you the schedule and also try to make sure that I find out how far you have gone uh, in terms of uh, giving all our users the information concerning the migration process and so i learned that uh, you have sent migration for a few people and also uh, there was a mistake there was a mistake in your migration uh, uh, proceedings and so i keep saying this and let me say it again these migration fees is not coming to iwc the migration fees is going to pay for your, your your data transfer from the ICO into the exchange. And so you are not expected to do any bulk payment. Each individual must pay according to their account. So if you have one account and you are migrating a single account, let payment comes separately. I think I have stressed these times without number. 
but yet we have a lot of people making the same mistake on a daily basis and so uh, i think we have what the first mistake that was made from yola we are trying to address it and uh, mr paul too i think you have made the same mistake uh, because your 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 report came to me via the ambassador concerning the bulk payment you are not supposed to do a bulk payment each individual should have a payment proof in order for us to be able to cater for the migration uh, uh, submission details. And so I am advising us not to continue to make these mistakes over and over again. And so if you do not understand anything about the migration process, you ask questions. We have people who, who, are, who are getting angry uh, I think uh, last year, I, 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 someone called me and the person was very furious and he complained that uh, uh, he was not properly being addressed. Uh, let me just uh, uh, clear that here in our meetings because uh, most of these complaints, I wait until we come on the forum so that we can deal with these issues in order for other people to learn from those mistakes and so he was reiterating that um uh why should we have the the two-factor authentication the capture and what have you those are security measures that you can find in any exchange any legitimate crypto exchange has set out security measures in order to counter fraud, in order to counter people getting into your digital assets. And so he was complaining that he was not able to get through his account. Uh, and so let me also repeat that here. If you are trying to log into your account and you have already enabled your two-factor authentication, you are not supposed to copy the two-factor authentication six-digit code and paste it before confirming your capture if not you will run out of time and so that was where the problem is and instead of the person to find out or ask question how can i log in alongside with my capture and also with my 2fa and he is getting angry and so we need to understand how all of these security features worked and also it will help us it will help to ease a lot of burdens for most of the leaders and also coordinators who are working tirelessly and so right now if you want to log in as soon as you get to iwcexchange.com and then you go to log in first you are going to enter your email and your password and so once you enter that email and password you will have to confirm your capture and so when you confirm the first capture it will take you it will log you in partially but requesting it will request for your two-factor authentication once it is updated so if you enable your two-factor authentication by the time you log in provide your email and your password and confirm your capture at first the next as soon as you click log in it will bring you back to add uh, to confirm your 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 2fa security feature and so before you insert the six digit two-factor authentication make sure you confirm the capture first and so what you will need to do is click on the capture confirm the, the photos or whatever security question the capture is asking you then once you 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 pass the capture test or the capture a security feature then proceed to copy your 2fa and paste then log in once that is done you go in straight into your account and so let us ask questions instead of you getting angry that whenever you copy your capture before you copy your capture uh, uh the next thing the two the the the, the two fa is blocking you uh, as soon as you confirm the two fa the capture is denying you entrance into your account you need to understand how this system works it is not an analog system and so let us begin to follow instructions. Uh, whenever you want to log in, always confirm your capture first because the 2FA, I think, is about 30 seconds or 45 seconds 
or thereabout. So once that period, that time is exhausted or elapsed, you the two FA will bring another six-digit security number, and it's time bound. Whether it is a table counter or a time base or a counter base, it is all the same, and so it goes uh, on a time base. So make sure you are able to uh, abide by that and also try to follow the instructions. It will help us a lot in order to uh, ease the tension. Uh, and so Madam Zerlin is here. Uh, she is in the house all the way from Maryland County. We also have, uh, I'm not seeing Reverend Samson Chie from uh, Sino today. Uh, he has been requesting that uh we should send a delegation yes we will say we are sending a delegation to the southeast uh when we are talking about the southeast we are talking about uh, i think uh, five or six counties or thereabout uh we have users in um beginning from grand jide river g maryland uh we also have uh, grand Cru, sino and river says so that's six counties all together in the southeast and so uh, uh, the ambassador, who is uh, Reverend Dr. George LCA, is not also in the house today. Uh, we had uh, a discussion extensively within the week concerning our plans to visit the Southeast. And so having said that, we are going to map out all the regions that we are supposed to uh locate or pr probably provide more clarity regarding the migration process so that we can fast track we don't want this january to pass us by again and so with our cooperation we can be able to have those numbers attain and also we will be able to uh get the fifty-five thousand users in order for the exchange to come open and so uh uh, this is, these are some of the updates that we needed to had made uh, possible so that all of us will begin to swing into action. And so uh, <clears throat> I have just 19 minutes, uh, 18 minutes more uh, to finish this particular recording because uh, I will need to upgrade the software in order to be able to record long videos. And even when we record more longer videos, it is difficult to edit and also upload on our uh, on our uh, YouTube channel and also other avenues because of the length of the recording. And so uh, I will stop here and also uh, look at our comment section. I don't think there is any uh, comment or message or even question today and so, and so uh i would like to welcome us once again happy new year to everyone welcome to the year 2023 and as for those of us uh, there is a controversy some people are saying they have not yet received their coins in their exchange wallet yes the exchange wallet bulk migration has not yet been done because we will need three to five thousand users in order to do that bulk migration and so we want to be able to have the first category of people receive their coins by next week and so i strongly believe that we can be able to meet up with that number uh at least the, uh, within the next week or the second week of january and so beginning from next week Hopefully, all those who have already migrated should should be able to receive their details uh, into the exchange uh, right uh, displaying on their exchange wallet. Okay, I am seeing uh, uh, Mr. Paul. You are raising up your hand. You can unmute your mic very quickly. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yes. Good evening. You are welcome. Yeah. Um, it's just about the the gas fee. Yes. So since uh, the bulk is not uh, allowed because I'm facing a lot of difficulties here from people, most of them will, will tell you, look, I don't know anything. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. You are the one to do everything. So that is the reason why we started collecting money from them. 
thinking that it's going to be a box or something, but uh, since it's not going to be a box, how are we going to get the money back so that we can uh, we can do it for them individually? That's All my right. question. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, and so the payment is supposed to be made per individual, supposed to pay their money respectively, the 5000 And so the ambassador will communicate back to you consigning uh the 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 solution to what you have mistakenly done in terms of uh doing the bulk payment i think we have another same case from yola but all those who began this migration i think uh so far we this is the third mistake that has been made and so the ambassador will reach out to you consigning the bulk payment that you have done for a solution because all the payments and evidence are channeled to him and so he only complained to me that this was what actually transpired from the uh southeast and so i told him i said we are going to find out a lasting solution to that aspect and also get in touch with you uh so the payment must be done individually you can put down your hands uh for your question it will be attended and also he will get back to you uh, regarding the bulk payment that you have done. And so henceforth, anyone migrating, whether you are making payment via POS or you are making the payment via uh, bank deposit, the 5,000, if you are making payment for 10 people, you should be able to have 10 receipts because each payment, it's five five thousand. So it's five five thousand. Yes. So divide the payment. Yes. Divide the five thousand per five thousand per individual. So that that individual will be able to have their their account uh, their detailed submission alongside the payment proof or payment details of their gas fee. And so that is the reason for that. And so, like I told you, he's going to contact you and tell you what you will need to do next uh, in terms of uh, in regard to that particular uh, mistake that was done. And so uh, we are also going to give you a schedule so that uh, one of these days uh, I have you started the tutorial already, Mr. Paul. I think I have seen a few uh, people saying they have migrated. I'm not seeing your leaders in this meeting. I can only see you. Uh, other other leaders are not. Uh, are they not being informed, Mr. Paul? You can unmute your mic. Hello. Yeah. I informed them. Yeah. yeah. I informed them. They get every all the necessary information needed. Oh. So, uh, yes. All right. Okay, so you can mute your mic. We are, we are going to communicate. I will communicate with you within the weekend regarding uh, the southeast, uh, so that we can have a schedule fixed, and then we can see how best we can get that other region, uh, get migration going on from the region. And so, have you followed the tutorial okay. on the migration process? Um, just for uh, actually, I've never done that, but um, I have few people about two persons who have gone through that, but uh, not yet completed. All right, all right, all right. And so, yes. we'll get a schedule fixed, and then maybe we can come up with a practical training on the south IWC South uh, East group chat, uh, uh, so that. I will show you where to get the video and also how to do when you watch the video, how you can be able, I will type the procedures and also uh, post it on your page, on the South East uh, IWC okay. group chat so that you can follow the instruction. All right? All right. Okay, sir. Right. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, we, I have Mr. Mohammed Ibrahim raising of his hand. Yes, Mr. Mohammed, you can unmute your mic very quickly. Uh, Mohammed Ibrahim, if you can hear me, unmute your mic. Uh, 
I don't think you can hear me because you are always raising up your hands about the end of the day. You will not, uh, you, I don't know if you know how to unmute your mic, but, uh, so far, uh, okay. I want to, I want to welcome. I only want to identify, uh, our, uh, few individuals because of our time, we have already gone 35 minutes in the recording. Uh, and so I would like to recognize the presence of um, uh, only few individuals, uh, perhaps. Uh, okay, I have Madame Zelin in the house, who is one of the leaders from Liberia. You can unmute your mic, ma, and greet the house very quickly as I'm trying to wrap up. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. I'm sorry that I came late. I've just arrived home. I had a situation. Okay. So I didn't get the full information. Well, however, I appreciate the time and the meeting. We hope that by this end of the general world, we'll be able to smile. Yes. Though it's not easy with the challenges, but we will 